Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 23 of Bardic Quest, the show where a group of British trained actors tell fantastical improvised stories through the medium of Dungeons and Dragons. Mm -hmm. um, just a quick reminder, if you have been watching the show, please do make sure that you hit the like button on this episode and also the subscribe button if you haven't already, because it really does help us to appease those algorithm gods. So, without further ado, and... Without waiting any longer, let us dive into this week's episode of Bardic Quest. Last time, after having tied up Tommy, the ruffian, to a tree and threatening him with toasty genitalia, the, <laughs> the party of Saga, Sergei, Johan and Thoric managed to pull out a lot of information from Tommy, who informed them of their leader, Glassstaff, taking up residence underneath the ruins of an old manor house, and that potentially, if the Redbrands had taken any captives from the town, that potentially they might find them from within there. With their inter interrogation complete, Sergei ran towards the sleeping giant tap house, which was full of these Redbrands, whilst Saga, Thoric and Johan decided what to do with Tommy and eventually settled on simply knocking him out so that they could chase after Sergei and stop him from doing whatever it was that he was planning to do next. Sergei entered the sleeping giant tap house disguised as a red brand ruffian and declared that Glassstaff had ordered that they go and rescue Tommy, which was of course a lie, um, rescue Tommy from the goblins which had taken him captive along the Tribor Trail and thus cleared out the entire sleeping giant tap house of Redbrands as they all legged towards the Tribor Trail outside of town to try and rescue their comrade. And upon clearing out the sleeping giant tap house, he bought his companions, his genuine companions, a round of drinks and sat outside the sleeping giant tap house waiting for his friends to arrive which is of course where we pick up so saga thoric johan you're trying to casually look as though you're just going about your daily business as you see red brands clearing out of the sleeping giant tap house and as you're trying to convincingly look as though you're strolling down the street you see sergey just well, actually, no, you see a ruffian, in fact, um, sat atop a barrel with one tankard of ale in one hand and three tankards um, sat, sat on, the, on top of this barrel next to him. I would like to uh, raise a glass and take off the disguised self so it's just Sergi. Sure. <laughs> I do, like, a full pelt run, and then as he changes back... I start to like slow up and <laughs> look really puzzled. I'm like, what? you? So, what? How did you? What did you do? Easy. You look, all you need to know, where I come from, there is a lot of trickery and deceit, and whatever you can do to minimize numbers, you got to do it. Well done, Sergey. I'm impressed. Oh, thank you, Sergey. So, we <laughs> have maybe a day or so as they realise their friend is not actually in trouble and not at the goblin hideout, which is where I sent them. Um, that, that is all I have. We, we've got maybe however long. You sent them to the goblin hideout? Yes. 
Maybe the wolves will eat them. All those spiders. Hmm. Well. Yes. Well. Well done. Oh, I got you all a drink as well. I oh, all... I really need mine, and she necks it. <laughs> <laughs> so is still puzzled and just sort of sips it like. Yes, Tori. So, um, what's next? After she's necked a ale, she just goes, Do you have any idea how disgusting he was? He doesn't have any teeth. Well, four. His breath stank worse than Sergei. Oh, I'm never doing that again. So your hand's still holding his pine. And still trying to get his head around the fact. So we're not burning anything? No. Um, Thoric said it would be cruel to burn this place down, so I, I thought of a different way to get around the problem. Very good. He's still... and, the, and the bar, um, bar lady still in there? Y- yes, go in if you want. I gave us some coin to, to cover for the cost you lose. I don't. I don't want to. I think... I think we should go after this glass staff person. I think we should do it now, where he can't get back up. True. I, I mean, we should get some potions. Uh, can we get we potions? Need stop, we, we need to stock up. We need no potions. I think you'll find we really do need potions, don't you remember? Hmm, I think we had a potion. Where did that go? Do you remember, Sergei? I seem to remember it went straight down the throat of you, Johan. I was very uncomfortable with it, and I hope you never have to do it again. Can I give my drink to Saga? Can you drink this for me? He Why is drink. it too strong for you? I don't really drink. He doesn't drink. He said he only got pissed oh. off fucking fermented peaches when he was a nipper. <laughs> that was that was a that was a, a nice memory that I have of, of my childhood. Thank you. Come on, it's not gonna kill you. Have a sip. Come on, for me. Have a sip. Have a sip. Right, right. Smells of honey. Yes, sweet. Does this actually taste like good beer? <laughs> um, it certainly tastes better than the wine that you had, Saga. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the but the beer. Con- considering the taste of the wine that you had earlier, mm. Saga, the taste of the beer is actually surprisingly good. Yes. Mm. Not necessarily excellent quality, but considering how run down the tap house is, the beer is surprisingly, surprisingly okay. Probably Take five a sip. out of ten. <laughs> Maybe a Another six. Sip. <laughs> six out of ten. He has about a third before handing it to Saga. Mm. Nah, see, now you're a proper adventurer. Well done. Well done, Johan. I'm proud. Can I finish his beer for him? And then like that. Hey! Uh, yeah. Saga, would you like to give me a constitution saving throw? <laughs> 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 How as drunk you, am I? As you've now had two beers in quick succession. Well, I contribute to using a saving throw. That is a 21. <laughs> nice. Okay. You feel no effects of this yes. uh, of this ale at all. I might. <laughs> <laughs> From your sip. <laughs> you, you can give me a constitution saving throw if you want. Uh, I feel like, you know how you feel after you've had like a drink and a half and you start to feel like, ooh. <laughs> sure. Oh. Ready for a dance. Not I'll, that he's going to dance. <laughs> I'll ho- hold fire on the constitution saving throw for now. So, um, we have maybe a day. Um, I If I know my uh, groups of ruffians and gangs, I'll know they're not going to be overly pleased when they realize they've just been duped. So, um, though we have time, we don't have a lot of it, so I suggest maybe we act a bit quicker. Yes, well, we must head we'll get for the manor provision. Yes, we'll get some provisions first, then we'll head. Yes. Provisions, head there, attack. 
um, deal with glass staff, that'll cut their numbers down. Maybe it'll mean that this lot come back and maybe, you know, if the person who's paying them isn't paying them anymore, maybe they'll... Mm. Very well. To the provision shop. What we have also set up is now distrust. They have received orders from Glass Staff and Black Spider. They'll come back realizing it's false. We come in, convince them of our orders, and convince them to take action against Black Spider, you know? I mean, I'm confused at that myself, but it sounds very interesting. <laughs> Long story short, we might be able to hire them. I mean, they sound like a bunch of pricks. <laughs> Is there I mean, uh, anywhere we can... basically cannon fodder. Is there anywhere we can buy some potions in this town? Uh, well, there are only a handful of shops in the town. Mm. Um, there are Barthens Provisions, which, of course, you've been mm-hmm. to. Um, there they is... did not do potions, if I remember correctly. That is correct, they did not do potions. There is the Lion Shield Costa, um, which from... In fact, you haven't even been to that side of Tesco, mm. though. So there's the Lion Shield Costa, which is a uh, another shop, and... Uh, yes. Do they sell caffeinated beverages? That's literally what I was thinking. <laughs> We were all thinking of it. <laughs> oh, there, I'd like a grande, um, <laughs> soy, flat white, extra froth, please. So you want to yeah. head to the Lion Shield Costa, yeah? Yes. Okay. Um, so you head towards the uh, kind of southwestern side of town, only just past the marketplace to a modest looking trading post um, which has got a sign above it which um, is shaped like a wooden shield with a blue lion painted upon it. This looks right. We walk in. Okay. I, yeah. Saga walks in. Okay. So, you walk in and you can see a fair bit of uh, armor and weapons hanging on the wall you can hear the sound of hammered metal coming from the backyard Um, and you can see kind of manning the the counter of the place a woman aged about 35 jet black hair wearing kind of a grey and blue motif not particularly wealthy regal looking clothes but but certainly not rags by any stretch um and she's she's got kind of a a, a stern look about her um and she says uh afternoon how can i help you hi um do you sell any healing potions by any chance? Oh, healing potions? No, we're just weapons and armor here. Ah. Well, I'm happy with what I have. You, you, you three. I'm happy. I mean, um, uh, what's the what's the um, the quality of the things being made in here like? When? Yeah, I mean they're they're pretty good quality. I mean, not not necessarily dwarven standard, but they're they're pretty good. What is your line in daggers and rapiers? Sorry. What is your line of daggers and rapiers? She um, she goes ah, bear with me, and she pulls out a uh, a kind of a satchel that she kind of unhooks the straps and just rolls out, and you can just see um, a fair selection, some kind of more curved and elegant some much more rugged and almost butchered butchery type of knives she says um we have a fair selection any take your fancy are any of them better than mine um i wouldn't say better but um some of them look prettier Mm, i'm more of a utility man 
I turn my nose up at them and go. Mm. Well, you are of course welcome to go elsewhere, and she rolls them up and fastens the thing again and For- puts it back under the counter. Forgive my friend, he's a he's a man of few words, very fine quality. Um, you'll forgive us. Uh, we might be, I think we might be well stocked enough, um, but we want to come and uh, see your wares anyway. Would you happen to know anyone that might uh, sell healing potions or similar? Uh, well, the only person I know that sells uh, potions of healing would be Adabra Gwyn at Umbridge Hill, out of town. How far is that? A few miles. Maybe two or three. Okay, so it wouldn't take us too long to get there, maybe. I think it's worth a detour. What was Mm. their name, sorry? Adabra? Adabra Gwyn. Gwyn. And what was the name of the place again? Umbridge Hill. Umbridge Hill. What of poison? Do they sell a line of poison? Oh no no she's a she's a midwife. Mm. Poison's not really her. Um, do you sell do you sorry. sell lamp oil? Oh sorry. Lamp oil. Lamp oil? Uh, no, you'd want Barthen's provisions for for lamp oil. We're just weapons and armor here. Mm. Lamp um, oil will prove useful. Sorry, could you give me a history check, please? Of course. Uh, seven. Seven. Umbridge Hill rings a bell with you. Um, perhaps Good from bell, t- bad bell. You're not sure. <laughs> right. It certainly rings a bell perhaps from tales of old. Maybe you've you've heard it in passing, but you can't really recall any details. It, it's just the name is familiar to you. Deborah Gwynn. Um, is she someone you've visited before? Well, she comes into town occasionally just to stock up on her own supplies before she heads back up to the hill. I see. she a uh, reclusive sort? We don't want to... Uh, I wouldn't say reclusive. She's she's friendly enough, but she keeps to herself for the most part. Okay. Thank you very much for your uh, for your help. We'll uh, we'll leave you to it. Um, and we'll We'll bugger off and possibly swing by Barthen's provisions for this boy to get something to burn people with. And <laughs> healing potions. And then we'll take a little detour out of town and then strike at the heart. Mm. Yes. The okay. Um, so, you head back out of the Lion Shield Costa and you head back towards the northern part of town into Barthen's provisions. He, uh, you see Barthen kind of counting some coin and writing into a ledger, and he looks up and he goes, Oh, hello again. What Ooh. can I do for you? Uh, any oil my friend needs to uh, restock? Mm-hmm. Oh, oil. Uh, bear with me. Yes, I think I've got some out the back. And he, he just pops out the back um, for a moment or two. And he comes back out with a tray of uh, of bottles of, of oil. Um And uh, he's got these got these flasks, and he goes, uh, "Right, how many do you want?" How many do you have? Uh, he quickly counts them up on the tray. He says, uh, "I've got about ten here." What is your strongest? Oh, well, we don't really have particular strengths. They're just uh, fairly standard oil. You have to go to an oil merchant for something if you've got particular tastes. I unscrew. A cap of my flask, put it on the counter and say, fill it. He kind of takes in a deep breath and he goes, right oh and he uh, takes a couple of the uh, the flasks and pours them in and he goes, uh, yeah, that'll do. That's uh, two silver, please. Uh, Thorik, I require the money that 
I was given in payment for a delivery of the card. Uh, hey. Saga just takes two silver out and slaps it on the counter and goes. But you are due your uh, your ten gold from him, and I I pass mm. him the the ten. It was ten gold each, wasn't it? I believe so. Yeah, yeah. I pass him his ten gold, uh, and uh, I will also put a silver on the table and just be like, I'll have one myself as well if that's all right. Right, oh, and he uh, passes you a flask of oil as well. Thank you. Johan thinks to himself about how pleased he is about the effect he is having on the group. <laughs> <laughs> but also um, looks at the two coins that uh, Saga put on the counter, looks up at her, and just gives her a, a curt nod before turning to leave the shop. I'm sorry, he never learnt manners. And then she nods and leaves as well. Oh, thank you for your custom again, guys. Thank you very much. Um, by the way, uh, there's um, <laughs> there's a red brand uh, who's uh, in a bit of a state um, <laughs> in a clearing, just uh, and I sort of give him vague directions towards him. Uh, All right. His uh, all his friends seem to have mysteriously gone out of town. Um, maybe you could let uh, Sildar know for us that he's there, and uh, tell him that we've gone to deal with the um, deal with the red brands. If you see him, of course. Well, you want me to go sort him out? Uh, n not necessarily. Just uh, if you happen to see, just letting you know. So if you. Tell someone else. If you see Sar Sildar, just uh, let him know. Oh right, got you. Yeah, no problem. I'll uh, I'll be sure to. I've not. I can't say I've seen him uh, since I saw you last, but uh, I'll be sure. To he was at the him. um. He was at the inn with us last night. So right. Uh, did he? He left mysteriously, didn't he? Or was he just? Yeah, he around? said he was going to carry out his own investigation on the goings on in the local town. That's one. I'll relay that to um. And then... Oh sure. Well, if I see him, I'll uh, be sure to let him know. Any news on uh, Gundren, by the way? Not as of yet, but we're. Um, I think we're getting. We're on the trail, so to speak. But we'll keep that to ourselves for now. Do less people that know, and all that. Oh, aye, sure. We appreciate it. All right. No. No. No problem. Okay, so you head back into the into the streets. Off to the hill. Yes. You're going to head off to the hill. Umbridge Hill. Yes. You head out of town, and you head in a southerly direction towards. This is towards the uh, the Sword Mountains, which had been on the horizon for your entire journey out of, uh, towards, sorry, Phandalin. Um, and you head um, towards those hills and you can see in the distance a windmill, um, which from information that you gathered from the locals before you headed off is Umbridge Hill itself. As you get closer, this windmill, it's old, made of stone and it's surrounded by a iron fence with a large winged monster you can see from the distance Ooh. a large winged monster with a spiky tail that looks as though it's trying to knock down the windmill's front door Sorry, what was it again? Say again, please. A, a large, large winged. winged monster with a spiky tail. Um, it's You're still a ways off at this point, but you're close enough that you can see this creature trying to bash mm -hmm. down this door. What is the creature? Can we tell from here? Draconic? or? Uh, give me a nature check, please. All of us or just Thoric? Uh, let's go with just Thoric for now. The 14th. Okie doke. So, this creature 
it's certainly not draconic in nature. It's very, very monstrous. It's... You can see it kind of... It's... it's it strikes you as draconic in some ways because its wings look like that of a dragon but its body is more similar to that of a lion from where you are right mm. curious well what did you what did you roll again thoric 14 mm. i yeah, think you're... we found our next job guys shall we perhaps the creature is pregnant since when has that been any concern of yours? Well, this lady is a midwife, is she not? <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> yes, let's go for it. Levick, like, unhitches his shield yeah. and, like, bashes it once and just goes striding off with Saga. <laughs> okay, so you run off into the... towards the hills, headed in the direction of this windmill ready to strike at this creature which yes. i feel would be a good point to end the episode before we oh. head straight into combat oh. for the next one um, oh i wanted to fight you know how i love these cliffhangers <laughs> I, <know> um, do, <laughs> so, I really wanted to fight oh well next episode mm. next episode anina don't have long to wait um, <laughs> for those of you who have tuned in thank you very much as always don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the like button and uh, we will see you for some combat next week Ooh.